So here's Mole Mountain. Today we're going from number of molecules to mass, but we can't go straight through. First, we must take a detour through moles. Above the Mole Mountain, we have listed the formulas plus Avogadro's number to reach our goal. Today we are joined by a special guest today, Zaquan. He will be handling the math, so we may solve this question. The question is, what is the mass of 9... 0 0.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen gas. That's a lot of oxygen molecules. Uh, the given is that we have 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. We know that Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now we can determine the number of moles and the mass. Thank you, chemistry extraordinaire Winston Watson. That's great. It's great to be of assistance to such an enterprising young chemist. Uh, we look forward to some exciting events in the future. Thank you. It's time for the analysis. First, we have the formula listed out, which is number of moles equals number of molecules over Avogadro's number. So we filled in our formula, so 9.03 times 10 to the 23 over 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, and we calculated it out to be 1.5 moles. Now we're almost ready to find the mass, but however, first we must find our molar mass. Now as you can see, if you look at the periodic table, oxygen has a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. However, because it's a Haberfinkel, you have to remember to double it, because it consists as O2, not just O. So, 16 times 2 is 32, so the molar mass is 32 grams per mole. So now we have molar mass, we have everything we need to calculate the mass. First of all, we need to learn how to rearrange the formula because the formula as it is, is moles equals mass over molar mass. So we have our triangle written out here, and if you scratch in what you don't know, you can see that it is moles times molar mass. So we have that written down here, and now we fill in what we don't know, so 1.5 moles times 32 grams per mole. And when you calculate that out, the moles cross off, and you're left with grams. So, therefore, the answer is 48 grams of oxygen gas. This is David Armstrong, and I approve of this message. 